हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एप्लाइड मैकेनिक्स एम ई इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्ट प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ लिफ्टिंग मशीन नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल सी द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एफर्ट लॉस इन फ्रिक्शन लोड लॉस इन फ्रिक्शन एंड लॉ ऑफ मशीन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द प्रॉब्लम वी हैव list out all the formulas which are required to solve problems first formula that is for mechanical advantage second is for efficiency in percentage another formula for efficiency next law of machine and the formula for effort loss in friction pf is equal to p minus pi that is actual effort minus ideal effort and it is equal to p minus w upon pi vr next another formula is load loss in friction that is w here is equal to wi minus w wi means ideal load and w means actual load and it is equal to p into vr into w okay then come then come towards the second problem first problem calculate effort loss in friction and load loss in friction of load 100 newton and effort of 8 newton at an efficiency of 60% this question is asked in summer 2019 for four marks before starting we want to write given data the problem has given load 100 newton and effort p is 8 newton and efficiency is 60% and they ask to calculate the effort loss in friction and load loss in friction that is pf and wf according to given data we want to calculate pf and wf for both of these there is a required will calculation of velocity ratio and that's why first use the formula of percentage efficiency that is ma upon vr into 100 then first calculate the value of ma ma is equal to w upon p we know the value of w and value of p then use it and we get the value of ma is 12.5 then write the formula for percentage efficiency use the value of ma and value of percentage efficiency by solving and calculating we get the value of velocity ratio the velocity ratio is 20.83 Okay. After calculating velocity ratio, first calculate the effort loss in friction, and formula is P of is equal to P minus P I. P of is equal to P minus W upon V R. Then you use value of P, W, and V R, and calculating. We get P of is equal to 3.2 newton, and this is the one of the answer of our question. Then next come towards load loss in friction. W of is equal to W I minus W. W I means ideal effort minus actual effort by formula. Then formula becomes P into V R into W. Then use the value of P, V R, and W, and 
solving we get the value of wf that is load loss in friction is equal to 66.64 newton and it is one of the answer of our question okay here the problem is over okay next come towards the second problem in a machine an effort required to lift a certain load is 200 newton when efficiency is 60 percent find the ideal effort in this question they give a effort required to lift a load is 200 newton that is it they gives effort p is equal to 200 newton and efficiency is 60 percent this question is asked for summer 2018 for four marks and they have or they want to calculate ideal effort that is pi okay as per given data we want to calculate the ideal effort pi and the value of ideal effort is w upon vr if we want to calculate pi we want the value of w and vr but in this question they don't give the value of load that is w and also value of velocity ratio that's why use formula for percentage efficiency because they has given the value of percentage efficiency and the formula is ma upon velocity ratio into 100 then use the value of ma that is the formula for ma is equal to w upon p and this value used in above equation the percentage efficiency is equal to w upon p divided by velocity ratio vr into 100 as we know that is as we calculate the value of pi that is w upon vr we want to write w upon vr separately and write 1 upon p separately into 100 because we want w upon vr value then write the value of effort p and percentage efficiency value it becomes 60 is equal to w upon vr into 1 upon 200 into 100 then rearrange the terms that is 60 into 200 divided by 100 is equal to w upon vr and by solving we get value of w upon vr is equal to 120 and as we know pi that is ideal effort is equal to w upon vr hence the value of ideal effort is equal to 120 newton and this is the answer of our question okay. come towards the third question the question is a machine has velocity ratio of 250 newton and has its law p is equal to 0 0.01 w plus 5 newton find mechanical advantage efficiency effort loss in friction at a load of 1000 newton and also state whether machine is reversible or not this question was asked for summer 2018 for four months before starting the problem write the given data the question has given velocity ratio 250 and law of machine p is equal to 0.01 w plus 5 and they want to find mechanical advantage percentage efficiency and p that is effort loss due to friction when the load is 1000 newton also they want to calculate they want to know the machine is reversible or not as we as 
the Q, the log machine, P is equal to 0.01 W plus 5. Use value of W 1000 in above equation. Then it becomes P is equal to 0.01 into 1000 plus 5. Then effort will become 15 Newton. Then calculate the value of mechanical advantage that is W upon P. We know the value of W and P. Then applying this value MA will become 66.67. Okay, next we want to calculate the efficiency. Write the formula for efficiency. Percentage efficiency is equal to MA upon VR into 100. As we know the value of six, MA is 66.67. Use this value. That then value for velocity ratio is 250. Then by solving, we get the value for percentage efficiency is 26.67%. As the value of efficiency is less than 50%, hence the machine is not reversible machine. This is the one of the answer of our question. Then next, calculate the effort loss in friction. The formula for effort loss in friction is Pf is equal to P minus Pi. That is actual effort minus ideal effort. Then write the formulas for Pi and P is equal to 15, 15 minus W upon Vr. We know the value of W at Vr and use it and by solving we get P of is equal to 11 Newton. And this is the second answer of our question. And here the problem is over. Fourth question. Calculate effort required to lift a load of 3 kN. In a machine, a load of 1 kN is lifted by an effort of 56 N. And a load of 2 kN is lifted by an effort of 96 N. This question was asked in 2000, summer 2019 for 4 marks. Before starting the write the solution, write all the given data. They give load W 1 kN which are lifted by effort P 56 N load W 2 kN which are lifted by effort P is equal to 96 N and they want to calculate effort P when to lift a load of 3 kN as per the given data and the, the value which are calculated we know that the log machine P is equal to MW plus C. Write the value of W and F that is load and efforts in above log machine. It becomes 56 is equal to M into 1000 plus C that is 56 effort is equal to M into W 1000 plus C. This is the equation number 1. Then 96 is equal to in bracket M into 1, 2000 bracket complete plus C. This is the equation number 2. Here 96 effort and 2000 is load. 1000 and 2000 are the load that is which are converted in Newton. They give as 1 kN and 2 kN by converting it becomes 1000 and 2000 Newton after solving that is subtracting equation 1 
from equation number 2 we get the value of m is equal to 0.04 then putting the value of m in equation 1 we get 56 is equal to 0.04 into 1000 plus c here we we have using the value of m then solving we get the value c is equal to 16 newton then the law of motion is equal to p is equal to 0.04 w plus 16 and this is the equation number 3 here during or by writing the law of motion kept value of p and w as it is only write the value of m and c then use the value of load 3000 that is 3 kilo newton which are converted in newton 3000 newton in above equation then we get effort is equal to 0 0.04 into 3000 into plus 16 then we get the value of p is equal to 136 newton and this is the answer of our question which is effort required to lift a load of 3 kN is 136 newton. Here the problems are over. Thank you.